you're now ready to install your cable node. Note, on the bottom of all cable nodes, there are two tab stickers that contain the MAC address and PIN number for each of these units. You'll need to remove these stickers from the units and attach them to the site log contained on the last page in the user guide and install manual. This is used as the primary reference to identify which nodes are installed on which bins. You'll want to fill in this site log with details of each bin you're hooking up to the system, including the bin name and cables in the bins for reference when setting up your user account online later on. The multi-channel cable node, also known as a CN8, will be installed on the roof of the bin. Remember to install it out of the way of any loading or unloading equipment. Failure to do so may result in unrepairable damage to the node. In addition, the cable nodes should be installed with the best possible line of sight to the gateway node in order to maximize the communication path between the gateway node and cable node. On the ground, attach the foot mount loosely to the cable node base with a 3 8 inch wrench. On top of the bin, determine where the best location for the cable node is going to be. Peel off the protective backing on the bottom of the foot mount and adhere it in place. With the cable node angled forward, take your cordless drill with a 3 8 inch nut cert attachment and fasten the first 3 8 inch self-tapping screw into the single opening on the foot mount. Next, lean the cable node back and repeat by screwing the remaining two 3 8 inch self-tapping screws into the two openings on the front of the foot mount to finish securing the cable node in place. Next, take the lead wires from the cables installed in the bin roof and carefully strip one and a half inches or four centimeters from each cable jacket using a wire stripper to expose the black and white wires. Use your 1 and 1 16th inch wrench to remove the first strain relief from the bottom of the node and push the rubber gland out from the strain relief. Note, there are two strain reliefs on a multi-cable node and each strain relief contains four small membranes for cables to connect into. Use a small screwdriver to create a small opening in the membrane in order to be able to insert the cable lead wires. Pull two inches or five centimeters of lead through the membrane for each of the cables. Ensure that the number of membranes punctured matches the number of cables being connected into the multi-channel node. There should be a maximum of four cables per strain relief with one per membrane to a maximum of eight cables total per multi-channel node. Once the cables have been inserted into each membrane, place the gland back into the strain relief and using the 1 and 1 16 inch wrench, reattach it back on the cable node base. You'll repeat this process for the second strain relief if you have more than four cables to be connected into the cable node. Once the cable node has been secured in place, it is now time to angle the cable node into a vertical position and tighten into place using a 3 8 inch wrench on the 3 8 inch bolt holding the foot mount to the cable node base. Using your Phillips screwdriver, loosen the three screws located on the outer edges of the base of the cable node and open the cable node up by lifting the clear dome off the base. The cable node dome is tethered to the base to avoid losing it. Take your wire stripper and remove 3 8 inch off both the black and white wires exposing the bare wires. Take your small flat edge screwdriver and depress the applicable channel tab and insert the black and white wire into the corresponding terminal. Ensure the wires fully inserted into each terminal with no bare wire exposed. Do this until each of the cables are connected into the cable node. Turn the cable node dome upside down and locate the red jumper to be removed. Remove the jumper to activate the cable node. Once activated, the node should flash blue three times followed by five blue and red flashes. Take the jumper and turn it upside down before sliding it behind the prongs you just removed it from in case it's needed to reset the node in the future. Realign the cover to the cable node base by lining the notch indicator on the cover to the notch indicator on the base. 
tighten the three Phillips screws to secure in place. Lastly, secure small drip loops in place with the 6 inches or 15 centimeters of slack from the cable lead wires with a small tie wrap through the opening in the neck of the foot mount.